Centricity Universal Viewer ZFP by GE Healthcare provides fast access to vital study and patient information across multiple platforms anywhere there is an internet connection. This video will provide you with an overview of some of the most commonly used features. Some features may not be available depending on your institution's policies and configuration. Centricity Universal Viewer ZFP can be launched directly with patient in context or as a standalone viewer. Let's start with standalone mode. After logging in, you will see the search panel on the left and a work list on the right. In Centricity Universal Viewer ZFP, searches are possible by a number of criteria. For example, to search by a specific accession number, key in the accession number, then click on the search button. To filter by modality, click on the checkbox for one or more required modality types, then click on the search button to get the output on the right hand side of the work list screen. On the right hand side, the work list columns display patient demographics and details about the examinations performed. The report icon shows that a report is available for this exam, commonly the radiologist report. ZFP can receive reports from an HIS or from a radiology information system. Columns can be sorted by clicking or tapping on the column title. Click or tap again to toggle between ascending or descending order. To view an exam in Universal Viewer ZFP, click or tap on it to launch the images for viewing. On the left-hand side is a navigator which shows the exams and thumbnail images. Image manipulation functions are controlled by the icons on the toolbar at the top of the screen. For example, to zoom an image, select the zoom function from the toolbar, then press and hold the left mouse button while pushing the mouse forward or backwards to zoom in and zoom out. After zooming in, you may need to pan the image. Select the pan icon from the toolbar, then press and hold the left mouse button to drag the image as required. There is a reset button which will undo all changes and return the image to its original state. The window level tool in Centricity Universal Viewer ZFP allows you to adjust the brightness or contrast of the image. After selecting the tool, press and hold the left mouse button while pushing the mouse forward or backwards or left and right. The invert tool will invert the window level to negative. This may be useful to help visualize certain studies such as angiograms with contrast or pathologies such as pneumothorax. To undo the invert, click again on the same invert icon. For CT studies, you can use window level presets, which are found on the right click menu. Select bone window setting to review the series at the window level for visualizing bone. To reset the window level, use the option recommended on the preset menu. The flip and rotate functions allow you to horizontally or vertically mirror the image. To rotate the image, use the Rotate Image tool. This may be useful if a cervical spine lateral view has been done with the patient lying supine. With the Rotate tool, you can easily view it in an upright position. Universal Viewer ZFP provides a variety of measurement tools. Use the point-to-point -to -point measurement tool to measure length by selecting the tool and dragging the cursor on the image to draw a line across the structure or structures you wish to measure. To delete a measurement, highlight it and in the right click menu, select delete. Otherwise, use the reset button, which will delete all measurements. To draw an angle, select the angle tool and draw two lines on the image to form an angle. To adjust the angles, select the edges of the lines to adjust the angle accordingly. You can also move the angle to a different location. To measure a cob angle, draw the two lines at the relevant levels and the angle produced is the Cobb angle. Cobb angles can also be adjusted in the same way as regular angles after being drawn. Centricity Universal Viewer ZFP has a built-in tool to measure the cardiothoracic ratio. From the toolbar, select the CTR measurement tool, which is the heart-shaped icon. Just click on the image and four vertical lines will appear. Adjust the outer lines to the costophrenic angles and the inner lines to the edges of the heart shadow. The inner diameter, outer diameter, and also the cardiothoracic ratio are automatically calculated and now displayed. Inner diameter refers to the transverse heart diameter. 
outer diameter refers to the transverse chest diameter and the ratio between the inner and outer, which is the cardiothoracic ratio. The cardiothoracic measurement that you have made can also be deleted by clicking the reset button. If a radiology report is available for an exam, it will be viewable when the images are loaded. Close the report pane by clicking on the X. The cross-reference lines show where a particular slice is in relation to an opposite plane. Once you start scrolling through this axial series, the yellow cross-reference line is automatically displayed on the scout image. To turn off the cross-reference line, click the icon on the toolbar. To reactivate the cross-reference lines, click on the same cross-reference icon. The two axial series on the CT brain can be synchronized so they can scroll together. Click on the Synchronize tool to activate the link and both series will scroll together. Deactivating the synchronization will break the link and allow you to scroll each individual series once again. In Centricity Universal Viewer ZFP, patient historical exams are listed in the navigator. Click on any exam you want to compare and the series thumbnails of that exam will be displayed in the lower panel. When comparing exams from two dates, it's sometimes useful to split the screen into two vertical viewport areas. Select from the list of available viewport types. Drag and drop the thumbnail from the comparison into the right side viewport, and now you have two studies displayed side by side. The overlay automatically labels the study category, so you can easily differentiate which study is the comparison and which is the primary. To synchronize between the primary and comparison study, first scroll the two series to similar anatomical levels and then click on the synchronize icon. Both series can then be scrolled together. Another method of selecting comparison exams is by using the study selector. The study date contains a shortcut which you can click to show a list of the patient's exams and their series. Select the series which you wish to load into this viewport. If you selected a comparison which is newer than the primary already loaded, a prompt asking you to confirm this is what you intended appears. Click OK to proceed to load the selected comparison study. To reload the primary exam, select it from the navigator tool and drag it into the viewport. Centricity Universal Viewer ZFP supports a double-click action to maximize a viewport. Double-click again to return the viewport to previous size. To play a series as a Cine loop in Centricity Universal Viewer ZFP, activate the Cine option from the right-click menu. Use Global Stack to display the series of the same exam in one continuous series. From the first series, scrolling further will then display the second series, which in this case is the Axial Soft Tissue series. If you have an interesting case and would like to save an image for a presentation, Centricity Universal Viewer ZFP has a save image function. Before saving, you may want to hide the patient demographics and other overlays. Click on the overlay icon to toggle the information on and off. Now, to save the image, right-click and select Export Image, then Save Image. The image will automatically be saved to the desktop. The print option may also be available if your institution policy allows printing of reports from ZFP. In the measurement menu, you will also have options to add annotations such as arrows or text. Thank you for watching this brief training video on Centricity Universal Viewer Zero Footprint.